stiamo per vedere un nuovo yacht e questa affermazione è valida oggi. We're about to take a look at a new yacht and saying it is new can be valid today while filming this test, but it will be valid in the future as well because OTAM yacht has a style that doesn't get old. Questo modello è OTAM. This model is the OTAM 70 HT and it's different from all the other models that we used to see. It's out of the box and doesn't follow any trends. And do you know why? Because this is the only way to become an icon. Once again, the hull was designed by Umberto Tagliavini, and that makes it reliable in every aspect solidity, performance, and comfort. Do you know what is the latest frontier of super luxury in the automotive sector? Having a car that is unique, built by a famous brand, designed exclusively for a single customer. Giuseppe Bagnardi, one-off hypercar designer in the past, worked for some of the most important European car manufacturers, and his BG design firm designed the interiors and exteriors of this model, starting from the history of OTAM to innovate the style while maintaining the traditional essence. The profile reminds us of that of a sports car, one of those with a raised hood to make room for the supercharged engine. The same shape is repeated on the deck house. The line that connects all the windows on the hull, on the other hand, offers classicism and elegance. I find the design of the cockpit very bold, and this is an area that is not always aesthetically enhanced. The stern can be completely different, for example, with a nice sun deck. On the roof, the large central air intake, which, seen from above, resembles a manta ray whose wings join with the pillar that descends on the gunwale. The purpose is to get a lot of fresh air into the engine room, not only to cool it, but to give oxygen to the combustion chambers and make the engines perform at their best. The windshield is a portion of a spherical cab. Everything we see has been made in-house by expert craftsmen with the typical Made in Italy care. To understand what this boat actually is, we have to understand the philosophy of the shipyard. They built each yacht around its dynamics and its owner. What matters most of all in a motorboat are the engine room and the propulsion system. The owner's wishes are equally important and they do everything to make his dreams come true. Basta sedersi nella postazione di comando per capire che cos'è uno yacht. You just have to sit in the pilot seat to fully understand that an OTAM yacht is a fusion of art and technology. The setup, the design, the performance, everything is designed by the shipyard together with the future owner. Of each model, they can make the version you want with a hardtop or without it. Open or semi-open, with fiberglass, aramid or carbon fiber. With a garage for the tender or without one, with powerful engines or very powerful ones. The interiors have been designed together with the owner, but to maintain the character of OTAM, they are hand-built on board, so they're able to define them with greater precision and eliminate vibrations. You can choose the layout you want, the number, arrangement and size of all rooms. OTAM manufactures a different product from the standard ones, and shipyards like this are a rarity nowadays. Below deck, you can have up to three double cabins while still retaining adequate space for the kitchen. The interior decor is dark, aggressive, with prevailing shades of grey and black, however unlivened by turquoise. In the bathrooms, there is a consistent presence of teak. It seems as if we were at a spa. The Nero Marquina marble is beautiful but heavy. And look at the thickness of the doors, seven centimeters. The leather floor is not very marine, yet it is spectacular. 
The dunnage, on the other hand, is all on the same level and this feature is really nautical. There is more. Even the technical equipment has been designed to suit the owner's needs. Oversized electrical panels to provide a higher level of safety. The fuel tank capacity increased from the standard 5,500 litres to 7,000 litres, double that of other similar boats. Basically, this model is quite heavy. We must take this into account in navigation. On the first model of the OTAN 70HT, there are two MTU-12V-2000M96X engines with 2,000 horsepower each. Propulsion system with OTAN roller surface propellers and Arneson ASD-14 transmissions. I'll start entering in ploughing mode without the interceptors, with the trim of the propulsion completely lowered, and then I give gas. It comes out of the water without having to correct the trim. Incredible. Can you hear it? The first turbine has started and we're about to enter the planing mode. OK, here we are. The minimum plane is 18 knots. The hull is similar to others designed by Umberto Tagliavini for OTAN. However, this one has an even deeper V-bow and the dihedral angle of the transom is 21 degrees. Un armatore o un comandante, beh, certo non sceglie volontariamente di navigare sul mare morto. An owner or a captain certainly does not voluntarily choose to sail on rough seas. But since OTAM knows that this can happen, especially on long transfers, it offers the possibility to navigate on rough seas at even high speeds. In short, when there are waves and other boaters suffer, if you have an OTAM, you have fun. Engines at 1900 RPM, we're around 33 knots. And I haven't done anything. The trims are still in the lowest position and the interceptors have only dropped 20%. Okay, maybe here we can give some trim. Ah, yes, do you hear now how the noise changes too? The engines have less load. You don't have to worry about running on rough seas because it is built by giving mechanical attention to the reinforcement structures. First of all, it was made with vinyl ester resin and aramid fibers, and then the bulkheads are structural. They are connected both to the hull and the deck to form a monolith. This is what makes the boat last over time, if it sails for a long time and in difficult situations. In addition, the tanks for all liquids are also structural. Around 2100, 2150 RPM, 41 knots of speed. The experience of the shipyard in competitions means that they know exactly how the weight must be distributed along the longitudinal axis. This means obtaining a perfect balance and being able to set flawless and safe turns at any speed. At this speed, around 40 knots, the consumption is around 16 litres per mile, and since we have a fuel tank capacity of 7,000 litres, we can cover over 400 miles, 430 approximately in total autonomy. However, if you have a boat like this, you don't care about fuel consumption, you're just interested in enjoying it. And so, full throttle, and with the trim up.
There are dynamic air intakes, but there is also forced ventilation in the engine room. There are extractors running right now because we have to give these engines a lot of oxygen to get them to their maximum 2,420 RPM and reach the maximum speed of the boat, 46 knots. Now, if this hull had been built according to the specifications of the shipyard and therefore was lighter, I'm sure it would reach 50 knots. If you then want to exaggerate, well, know that OTAM can also mount two Caterpillar engines of 2,400 horsepower each on the 70HT. Do it, and then tell me what speed you have reached.